Okay. Hey everybody, it's Vicki Williams with the Willow Group at EXP Realty. And today I have Craig and Mindy Campbell here. Hey guys. Hey. Thanks so much for taking a minute to do this little interview because everybody at Eagleville is dying to know all about your coffee shop and get some just some juicy details from you. So thanks for taking some time. I really appreciate it. Tell us a little bit about your coffee shop and what made you decide to open in one. Oh, uh, well, um, it kind of started with just the name Grindstone Cowboy. I, I had, I think I was just, I heard somebody say Rhinestone Cowboy, but I thought in my mind they said Grindstone Cowboy. And I, and it just, it caught me by surprise. And my first response, you know, to myself was, wow, that'd be a great name for a coffee shop. And then a little bit later, I just, I couldn't, I just kept thinking about it. And I, I thought, well, why, why don't I open a coffee shop? So, um i talked to mindy about it she was like no absolutely not this was like six years, years ago. yes yeah, five long, or six years ago long time ago uh, but i i don't know just i wouldn't let it go so long story short is i kept i kept uh thinking about it and, and researching it and finally just i talked to her i said hey i found this coffee shop that i think is very similar to what i what i see us doing if we do if we were to open a coffee shop let's go check it out um Took her down there. We looked at it. She she loved it. Um, she said, "Okay, let's do this." Under two uh, contingencies of one, it has to have a drive-through. Two, we have to own the building. Uh, we don't. We knew we'd have to put a lot of money into renovations to get it to where we want it. And uh, we we have done that in the past, where we've leased property uh, and ran businesses out of them. It just didn't work. So we uh, that those were the two like. We had to have those and it worked out. So that's we, where we are. Yeah, we, the location was a big and location. Deal. We want to be right downtown Eagleville. So we had to wait quite a bit before something kind of came up. That makes total sense. So that kind of leads me into my next question. It all ties together is what made you choose Eagleville, Tennessee to open your business? Well, um, First, we've lived here for 16 years. Yeah, 16 we've been years. here since 05. Um, yeah, we moved here in 05. He was traveling a lot with music on the road, and um, we were looking to move outside of Franklin. We didn't have kids yet. Um, I used to drive, I used to ride motorcycles through here to go to Tim's Ford, and I just fell in love with this small town. So one weekend when he was gone, I found this little house right on Main Street, and it was under $100,000 right in our budget. And so we, I put an offer on it. They, they accepted and we bought it. So I bought it without him even yeah. knowing Eagleville. Or... And that was, yeah, that was 2005. And, and, uh, we just, I'm talk, talking about the coffee shop. We knew that we wanted it to be inside the, inside the, the main drag, if you will, from duck, from the dollar general to, to the Mexican restaurant. We wanted to be inside that. Uh, so that was a challenge as far as finding the, like, the actual piece of property. There was a bunch of stuff around that we probably could have turned into a coffee shop, but we didn't, we, we wanted to wait till we found the perfect spot and we did. Yeah. And then, um, you want to tell the story about how you, we found out this building was for sale because nothing's for sale in a small Nothing. town. It's, it, I know it sells before it goes on the market. Word of mouth, right? Yeah. Word of mouth relationships, people yes. say, hey, so-and-so down the road is about to sell their property. And you better know and find out before it gets listed or it just never will get listed. Um, so we were shopping one day and we were in that shop and Brenda, the previous owner, um, we were kind of just flirting around talking about, you know, wanting well, I had the, a coffee shop. Yeah, I had the all intentions of basically just cold asking her if she wanted to sell that building. Um, and we just mentioned to her what we wanted to do and, and finding the perfect place was, was uh, just, you couldn't find it had had to have the, the drive through was a big deal. And we were like, you know, this place would be perfect because you know, it's got this and this. And she's like, well, why don't you just buy this building? And we were like, we both looked at each other like, uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my so gosh. Was, yeah. That's how that came about. It was meant to be. Yeah. yeah. She was on a five year plan and she was in her fourth year and she was <sighs> wanting to own it for five years. And she said, so I, she was ready to yeah. sell. She said, I was only going to own it for another year anyways. Yeah, it was perfect. Timing. That's perfect. I love that story. What do you guys love most about living in Eagleville? Um, schools. Our schools are our school is amazing. 
the community the community no it, uh, we love the small town you know everybody knows everybody and you need something you just, there's plenty of people to call if they if, if anybody needs anything they can call us uh it's just it's just one of those it's, and it's a perfect place to raise a family that's just we 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 moved here not with, with not at with that not in in mind and then we started having kids and then even really wasn't even on our mind then until they started school and we realized that we were in a uh, an, an area that had an amazing school system so that was just a, a bonus that we we just got lucky and uh we fell in love with it so yeah and all of our friends are within a mile <laughs> yeah of where we live and i mean so it's like and all of our kids friends are within a mile so it's just a small little community love it. i love eagleville we moved here five years ago and it's just it's such, it's small town USA, the epitome of it. And I love it. It's like I live in a Hallmark movie, right? That's exactly what we say. We, we think of this as like a little home, Hallmark town. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. So opening a business, you found your location. What has been your greatest challenge so far? I know, I know you're not open yet, but I know you've probably had some challenges along the way. Blueprints. Uh contractors getting contractors to first of all be interested second of all commit to giving us a quote um because prices of materials change every day so they don't want to give you a quote because if you don't start right then then the quote changes and um it's just commitment yeah. and the building right now is just crazy like the building industry everybody is so busy and we've had plumbers pass on our job because it's more difficult than like a new construction because this building is extremely old and to be able to add bathrooms and turn a building into a restaurant is very challenging. So we've had to, we've had people pass on our job and just say, it's just too much work. So we've had to hunker down and trust our contractor and, but we're getting close. Yeah. Really close. We're getting close to starting. Starting. Yeah. We've done the, outside. Awesome. the, out, the outside looks great. Yeah. Uh, we've got our plans. We've got our quote. Now we've just got to, We'll probably start in probably about two weeks. Yeah, we got to go now. Well, there's a lot of buzz and a lot of excitement. So I know you're going to be super busy when you open. Um, what is your plan for the next year? Where do you see your business going in a year? Um, well, like we said, we bought the building. So uh, another feature that's coming is the, um, the boutique that's moving in the middle. It's Ashling Boutique, which I think will be really cool for this town because we don't have a lot of shopping um, for clothes, you know, we have to drive 20 minutes to go anywhere. Um, it is just a women's clothing, sorry guys, but um, <laughs> it'll be fun. And so that's gonna be opening in about a month. So, mm -hmm. um, and then our insurance company is on the end uh, and flat branch insurance. So we've got our two spaces leased. So that as landlords, um, that helps us with being able to take our time opening this coffee shop. Yeah. Um, but then once we open, we may open the drive through first and um get the coffee down and get it down pat because we've never owned a restaurant so this is all new to us yeah. so we'd we're like learning to learn as we go open it, maybe open it in phases so we're not like bombarded because i do feel like once we open our doors we're going to be packed and it's a little nerve-wracking absolutely well it seems like you're up for the challenge so that's cool something new reinventing yourselves in a new uh area of business that's exciting yeah. And then we're hoping to have some uh, evenings of live music, um, maybe some ticketed shows, maybe every quarter have a songwriter's hit round or something like that from people that we know and and bring in the nightlife a little bit. It'd be fun. We need that here. I think that would be so important to the local community to do that. That, that sounds amazing. So tell me this, guys. Um, why do you feel it's important to shop local? What does that mean to you? Um, well, you can take that. I he's, mean, he's very adamant on at least all American made. <laughs> well, we're, we're doing everything we can to, to keep most of our stuff, even with the the building itself and, and the renovations, trying to have some, so a lot of the custom made stuff we're, we're doing local because we got a lot of people here that are very talented uh, in construction. Yeah. Eagleville Mercantile is probably going to make all my doors and stuff like that. Tops and We've got some folks not far from here that are going to make all of our, our mugs that we serve. 
our coffee in as well as mugs for retail. Um, and then on, after that, even on a bigger thing, bigger scale, we're, I'm trying my best to, to keep everything in the store, uh, at least made in the USA. Um, I just feel like that's, that's important. I hate, I, you know, I hate seeing made in China on the bottom of anything. So, yeah, we just want to support America and small towns and we'd yeah. love to eventually maybe make this a franchise ability where, um, other families like us can um, open up a coffee shop. We'd like to stay in small towns strictly um, and hopefully they will utilize their local community. And so it just helps everybody. Like you were saying at the beginning of the video, it just helps everybody to help each other out. So, right. Um, Absolutely. Shop here, spend here, support here. Yeah. Small town USA for sure. Well, I've really enjoyed learning a little bit more about how you got started and what inspired you to open up a coffee shop in Eagleville. Everyone's super excited. So grand opening is estimated. I know you can't give a firm date, but you're thinking about when? Next year. <laughs> Next year. So 2022. So we have a little bit of time for waiting here. Right. Okay, well, if anyone wants to reach out to you guys, if they have any questions and need to contact you, should they just reach out to you on social media, Mindy and Craig? Is that the best way? Yeah, I mean, and even the Grindstone Cowboy has its own social media, so they can always hit us up on that. Yeah, get on there, and we're trying to post, you know, updated renovation photos so you can follow Progress. the process and um, how we learn how to do coffee because we are doing a happy brewing program. So we've got to be baristas. We get to learn how to do it. So we'll take you along for the ride. <laughs> are your children going to be involved over there? You get to put them to work? That's one of the main reasons we did it was we wanted, um, I, I grew up in a, a family run business. So we want a family run business as well. Yeah. Um, it keeps the family tight and close and out of trouble. And so absolutely i love it my two daughters work with me here at the willow group so they work with me in real estate so we're all about it too absolutely it makes it fun well it's been a pleasure speaking with you both today i cannot wait for your coffee shop to open and as we get closer to opening i may reach out to you and and pose a few more questions if you don't mind you're great absolutely thank you okay all right thanks guys have a great afternoon